What's up guys, this is the Rose Minute and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Emperor Total War Let's Play as Mexico. Just to round off from last time, the cheeky Russians sallied forth, we had a battle. They ran around me, captured Bogota. I then re-attacked and auto-resolved it and pushed them back to Santiago de Cali. And then I just sent a small force to eradicate them. But, crux of the matter is, New Guatemala, New Granada is under my control. And I've pretty much just doing a bit of economic investing, because I've now got some research on the go. I only think I only need one more turn before this army of Bogota can push on to Caracas with no garrison and there's no troops in it. And my Catholic missionary is going to go ahead to provide some more scouting. Cool, so let's hit end turn. And I'm also recruiting a force in Mexico. Ooh. No, why would I do that? You are you are weak, Spain. You only have your Spain main Spanish territory, and I hate to say it, but Quebec's just sailed over with us. You might be knackered. Um, but yeah, where was I? Yeah, I was recruiting an army in New Mexico to, to push against Texas so I can secure it, fortify it, and put a small garrison there. And then also a... Um, did see that... Maratha Confederacy Navy bail away, which is concerning, because they might just drop it off my coast. <laughs> if they do, right now I've, I've I could maybe fight them. I've got well, I'm building my na oh, my navies with fourth rates, so I could I could try and hold them off. Well, Punjab's There's been destroyed. Government by consent. See, I need to do all these these um, enlightenment ones because these enlightenment ones allow us for so much growth. Good. Build the happiness buildings. Cause I want them to be ready to upgrade schools should I need them. And then Frantigo, let's upgrade the coffee warehouse get more stuff being traded and then build another unit of line so this militia actually you can go out there and disband the native musketmen because you are cheaper to sustain three two more troops and then they can be um, unleashed to the Texas, we'll send these guys out, minus one, so they'll write a letter, and then they'll be fine. On to Caracas, so taking three turns to get there. Or I could run them up to my port, sail them over, but that'll still take three turns now. Dang it. I've got to think these things through. Yeah, New Spain recruitment, let's see who we gained. Navy, my Admiral's got a pirate. <laughs> He's a pretty boy then, Squawk. Cool. Nation destroyed, Punjab. So, what's going on up here? I see Montreal is Prussia. So hopefully, maybe the US and Prussia will go to war? Oh, it's Denmark. Oh, God. So even... What have they traded away? Reykjavik is... Rebels. Norway exists. That would be an interesting Mexican territory to hold. Iceland. Oh, that's very, very tempting. Just to have a bit of a foot in the door in the European continent. Although it's very poor and it doesn't really produce much, any stuff. So I have two ports. I'd build a trade port and a fishing port. I'd have my town and then nothing else. I wish I could see what's going on here because somewhere on here that Quebec stack landed. Apart from that, everything looks pretty normal. Oh, oh the, the Native Americans have attacked, have captured Greece. <laughs> They've actually pushed out Mamluks, Persia. Afghanistan still exists. The Muramu was taken Punjab, but they've not really got much else. Right, cool. Tex. Yep, still going on. 
Alright, end turn. Once I get the new farm upgrades, I'll start to pursue artillery upgrades. Try to go straight down to um, quicklime shells because they're just horrendously effective. Provinces sailing on. Yeah, the quicklime shells are just brilliant. Rely having huge amounts of infantry, particularly if I use fusileros, because fusileros are fusileros, fusileros are half the size of a regular line infantry unit so if i'm using three units of those i'm depriving myself from the entire army of a unit of heart and a unit and a half of infantry so i don't know how long i'm going to do that for <laughs> they look beautiful but the unit size is just killer like they might have their niches in oh god they're not they're not going to suffer the uh, native americans to let that happen um, but yeah, the trouble is, is that, well, they might be useful in siege battles where certain buildings you can't put a full unit in, maybe. I suppose that'd be the only way to be, the main way I'd look at it. Um, they might be useful to filling up some gaps in cities and things like that, but 120 for a line infantry unit is just unfortunate. Particularly if you're going to be manning walls. Because like a single unit of 225 line infantry against a single unit charging up could take a bit of a battering. It's about 60-70 guys. Suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations. See, you wrote your letter. Ooh. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> and let's do that. <laughs> Fully derived. Fully derived. Okay, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not linear, like every one of these you add, it's not the same amount, it does go down, but, yeah, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Cool, so my new Spanish army is almost ready. Tax farmer Bavaria has been taken out by Austria. Yeah, Austria is becoming very powerful. Anyway, back to the Americas. On you go. And then let's build new roads. Let's tack on a second, another fourth rate. And let's produce an Admiral. Eladio Terran. Eladio! Okay, let's get you into Campiche. And then let's disband you. Good growth is starting to happen. It'd be even better once I upgrade these farms. Meager yield farms. Cool, once again, empiricism. What does that give me? Plus four to town wealth. Minus one percent unhappiness, but it is what happens. Like yeah, once I get rid of this army, clamor for reform is going to go up. Plus the balance of playing as a absolute monarchy is be is that the the na the, the regular populations will just hate you. Just get used to it. When my, when my army moves out, I may be open to a rebellion, and then I'll form the Mexican Republic. Because I'm pretty sure people say that the republics are meant to be. The best, uh, the best government type in the game, I think. I'm quite a fan of Constantinople, but it seems like you're generally you're more likely to be f finding the lower classes rebelling on, rebelling against you much more often than the upper classes. I found. Like the nobles, whatever the situation is, the nobles always seem to be happy with it. It's like, I don't know, I invest so much in the economy, so in my mind it's like they're happy because they're making money. So they're not too unhappy with the government type because they're making lots of money from exports and trade and they need I need to upgrade the rest of my plantations. Rioting has broken out in this oh. region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. Yeah, they you rioted and now they're fine. 
What did they break? The new nation arises. The Greece have rebelled. Good, good, good. New ports are in position. So let's upgrade these two positions. So if I move you out. Eh. Let's move them up. <clears throat> New national leader, Manalete. Oh, it's the coaching in. It was the happiness building they broke. So. Yeah, I'm losing a lot because of my army upkeep. I've got, got a good guy in the army, minus 4% upkeep. There we go, they've got one general. They've got a general and two garrison units. Oh, silly mouse. Cool. growing again but that is to be expected but you're going to take some investment to knock these down and rebuild Spain still exists for now cool so diplomacy ooh so I've upgraded my trade spots No. Open. Request peace. Request trade. Oh, that's sad. How about you, Prussia? Request peace. Request trade. No, nah, I want to fight you guys still. Yes. And didn't expect, didn't expect them to take it, but sometimes you got to see. No, why do they always want my? No, I'm not going to give you away my territories. Damn it! However, request peace. No. Ugh. Some people. So there aren't any convenient Spanish fleets to gobble up either. Either way, not much I can do about it. So let's recruit colonial militia just to keep the peace back in Spain. Turn. No! Stop trying to ask me to give away my territory. We don't, we don't conquer stuff and give it back to you. This is our land. Except for the bits we've taken. Madrid. Take Madrid. At least I'm assuming that's where the stack went. It did. See, now you've done this before, Ottomans, where you've just ran troops around. There's a brand new net formed in your territory. Or there was your territory. Are you gonna take it back? Should. So I'd love it for a major power to get 
taken out in this game because it means all of their colonial stuff becomes up for grabs well, the Russians and the Turks are at it see it's interesting watching Europe kick off without actually being involved there is unused land suitable for plantation God damn it, Mughal Empire, you suck. We move on to the main region. Good, my navy's built. Let's take a lad, you well, actually, it's tempting to move this army out there. Navy, sorry. No, let's put Eladio out there. Let's put... Ah, oh, I can't... I can't do it safely. Let's hop them down to... Down to Granada. For now. I'm not going to fight that. Two mortars and then the colonial line. Oh, it's very unfulfilling when you want to resolve a battle like that. Oh god, does this building not... Does, gee, why, why can I not build... Oh. Well, my naval... My naval strength is going to be severely limited because I was sure I could build a naval building, and I suppose it's, it's not one of these, uh, like these five square territories. It's a. Well, you couldn't. Like you couldn't even build one in Boston. You have to build one in Philadelphia. God, that's annoying. <laughs> My naval power is going to be severely limited for a long time. <clears throat> but I have more goods to trade. My economy is slightly better, but a couple of people are being traded. Spanish tanks, buccaneers and militia. You're next on my target, don't worry. No, no are you next? Or do I want Cuba? I want Cuba. That's the one I want. <clears throat> That's the one I want. More plantations. Average yield, average yield, meager yields. Still probably more goods than I produce in the minute. Sweet, you're 100% Catholicism, so... Next turn I'm going to recruit a brig and ship him all the way up to Texas. Because they're going to hate me. See if I can engineer a bit more. <laughs> Fortunate. Planetarianism still on the go. Cool. In turn. <laughs> you can keep trying, Isabella, but it ain't gonna work. This territory is key to my national security. I will not just surrender it. The Austrians are on the move.
still don't fancy charging down south and actually doing something about this nation. Arg. See, it's difficult to commentate on things that are going on in Europe because they don't have any bearing to me on me unless they're heading towards the United States or heading towards the Americas. Sorry. I don't have much visibility on, well it's mainly because of the trade lanes that I've got visibility on what's going on in Europe. Offer me 10 grand to for peace. No, because your territory is critical. I wouldn't be in Mexico, I wouldn't be in the Mexican Empire in the 19th century if I didn't try conquer Texas. There is unused Ooh, land suitable for farming in this region. Bam. gems, great poor. But Italian states destroyed. New Spain's not happy. War weariness. Yeah, okay. Do I, I'm going to be at war a bit less once I conquer Texas. Okay, so this gem pit, gem pits are very valuable, aren't they? Yeah, plus a thousand. Build a happiness building because it's cheap. And a great arsenal. Ah, I was going to recruit my sloop. Assault, Texas. So I'm going to fight this because we've not had a battle so far this turn. It's been a bit slow. So let's fight it. I'll try to get you guys something interesting per turn to watch rather than just uh, campaign map stuff. I'm playing it and I'm thinking about it and I'm, I'm creating my plans and stuff. Um, for you guys, maybe not so much. Ooh, beautiful land. Fusileros, front and center. So, then, 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 and then. They're my center. Although I am attacking them, because I have the firepower advantage, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have any choice but to come right at me. Two lances in the trees. They're not hidden. <laughs> and these guys are hidden behind this shrub. In the first fight of my new general. Focus fire that battery. Fairly sure it's bugged anyway because it's not on. They're not on the. They're not in the proper positions. So this halt and then turn fire will back on. Still gonna fire it all the same.
So these guys are probably going to get... But I'm going to shoot at them a bit and then charge them with my cavalry. Speed up time a bit. If all I'm going to be doing is taking pot shots at their artillery with my artillery. Good to be in charge of my guns. The leader of the Pueblo Nations just charges straight into me. Not sacrificing himself. There he is. Ah! I thought that was him. Pretty sure that was him. It's usually the, it's usually the dark one. And the bowmen have snuck up close. Yeah, there you go. Now their troops are on the move. coming back, so the Patriot. Oh, there he is. Should have held fire, but, you know, win some, lose some. Rapidly load your canister because you know what's coming at you a bunch of angry Native Americans Musqueteros, Musqueteros. the worst units charge you know Mexican it is NATO artillery's opened up Deploy my colonial light horse. Chase them down.
I don't even, I don't really need to chase them down because I'm attacking their final city, but... stay put because they're in the range of everyone anyway. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> Did not expect to see all those troops. Okay, let's get my cavalry back. Let's move my lances up. Get my cavalry to hit the guns. Let's get my lances in on the chief bodyguard. The chief's bodyguard. Oof! No, they're coming back. Fusileros. <laughs> Warish side, they'd have been pretty devastating if they got in. Particularly against my fusil arrows because they're not very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's pretty intact for our society as well. So one unit of power says pick at them. One unit of power says pick at them. Where's the chief? All the way back here. Okay, let's get my cavalry to scoot safely. 
around. Should have a run. Come on, then run them around. Greet them with this cavalry and charge them into their chief's bodyguard. The miracle of the modern age. Fly by rank and... Oh, let's walk it. Fire, rank and heavy artillery. Being very, oh yeah, I'm being very, very slow in this battle, mainly because it's the, it's in the morning. <laughs> Not really woken up yet, haven't had my coffee. Charge the warrior society, because that's what they, what they seem to be angling to do. from all sides, from all types of cavalry. Oh god! It's just been devastating. Onto the guns. <laughs> then on to the chief's bodyguard, because they don't seem to be bothering with my grenadiers, so just make them form square. <laughs> it is done. It is done, as you rightly said, just at the wrong time. End battle. Whew. All set. Scooting my troops around and getting encirclements done and things like that. Lost 85 men. And the territory is mine. It's knocked down. Not not. Mm. Got physiocracy. That's the first one, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Destroy the meeting hall. Ooh, ugh, weird lag out. Cool. And then get ready to build some roads. Sweet. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.